etc., etc., and all of you go oh, attending them and blow them up and die. Brendan, leave that door open. I want to see you studying. Nothing, Mum. I, I was just finishing my homework. Good. Then you can help me bring my bags downstairs. Now, Brendan, don't forget to disinfect after you've used anything. I don't want filth getting into my house while I'm gone. Barbara next door will call around to see if you need anything. So, darling, make sure the place is clean. You know what a gossip she is. I don't want the whole street to think we're animals. And no decadent parties, Brendan. Maeve, this is Brendan, remember? The only contact he has with the outside world is through that bloody computer of his. And that reminds me, block off the internet, will you? Why not lock him in the tower while you're at it? You can work on the computer to do your schoolwork, Brent. But I don't want you using the internet while I'm not here. And the house had better not be smelling of smoke when I get back. I don't smoke, Mum. Can we go now? I'm ready. I just need to call the salon before we go. Maeve, I'm sure they can survive without you for two days. Oh, come on, then. I'll ring them from the car. Uh, hello, uh, um, I, uh... You want a girl? Uh, yes. What's the address? Two Angels Lane. All right. Well, um, well, how, how much does it cost? Same as usual. 200 for the first hour, then 150 for each hour after that. Uh, for less than an hour, please. Today, uh, as soon as possible. Okay, I'll see who's available. Might take a little while, though. What name should she ask for? Um, uh, Brendan.
Hello, Brandon. Barbara. Your mother asked me to call by from time to time, just to see how you were getting on while she's away. No, I'm fine. I was just about to study for a test. Oh, that's a good idea. Why don't I stay and cook your dinner for you? No. Honey, no thank you. I've ordered a takeaway. You shouldn't go wasting your money like that. I don't know what your mother would think. I'm sorry, please don't tell her. Now the next time, I expect you to call me if you feel you can't manage to cook for yourself. Yes, I promise I'll call if I need anything. Yes, now anything at all, Brandon. I'm Mandy. I think you're expecting me? Yes, yes, come in, come in. You must be Brendan. Brendan, do you mind if I just use the toilet quickly on the first? Top of the stairs and to the right. This room. Oh, I didn't see you there. Yeah, it's a lovely room. That bed's huge. She must be doing really well for herself. <laughs> You're not as shy as you look. <laughs> Don't waste much time, do you? Well, I'm sorry if it was too quick. You were fine. Besides, I think it's quite kinky doing it in your mum's bedroom. Well, she mustn't find out. Is that your dad? Yes. He's an attractive man. You look a bit like him. My mum says I take after her. Have you, uh, have you met my father? No, but a lot of the other girls have, though. I think he gets sympathy from them, like, you know, because his wife's such an old witch. Oh, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have said that. Look, I don't know what I'm talking about. You'd have to see her side, really. No, you can't smoke. My mother will know. You're really terrified of her, aren't you? Well, I guess I'd better go. Come on, go get your money. It's in the kitchen. Here, 
It's all there. I don't think it is, Brendan. What do you mean? There's only 200 here. It should be 400. But I was told 200. That was less than an hour ago. No, it's definitely 400. But that's what I was told. It must be a mistake, Brendan. I'll have to come back and speak to your mother about it then. My mother? Yeah. Well, if you don't have the money here, I'll have to come back and get the rest off your mother. Why are you doing this? <laughs> no offence, Brendan. But I didn't come here for the pleasure of your company. I need the cash. Are you sure you didn't leave some in that cupboard? There's no more money. That's too bad. I don't reckon she'd be too pleased to see me coming around asking for it. You can't do that. You don't have it here. I've got no choice, have I? Bye, Brendan. Maybe I'll see you the next time I call. No, wait. Wait. I'll get it to you. Jesus. Brendan, what are you doing? There's no more money. Okay, okay, you're right. I'm sorry. You won't tell my mother, will you? No, no, of course not, Brendan. Put the knife down, please. Barbara. Hi, Brendan. I brought you some cherry pie. Oh, my God, Brendan, your arm. It's nothing. I, uh, I just cut myself, that's all. Oh, you poor boy. Here, let me see. No, it's okay, really. Here, wait there. I'm sure your mother keeps bandages in the bathroom. left in a rush this morning. They didn't even make their bed. Now, will you be careful that? Oh, there's a little blood on the floor. I'll just mop that up. No, no, I'll do it, I'll do it. Oh, are you sure you'll be able yes, to? Yes, Barbara, I have disinfected. Well, I... Th Thanks for all your help, Barbara. Well, I'll call around again later to see if you're all right. speaking. I hope you haven't gone back to bed. Anyway, I forgot to tell you that one of the girls from the beauty salon will be round to collect her severance pay today, and I told her you'd be there to give it to her. I left it in an envelope for her in the drawer under the phone. But don't let her in, darling. She's nothing but trouble. I wouldn't trust that brazen little hussy as far as I could throw her. Now, make sure the house stays clean. I'll see you Monday, dear. Bye. Hi, I'm Lorraine. I think Brendan's expecting me. 